folks, I'm Rebecca. And I'm Hunter. And this is the Two Player Showdown. If Vassal Law holds true, any good game that goes out of print will eventually come back into print. We're looking at you, Pillar from the Earth. For our reprint episode, we are choosing to focus on Mission Red Planet. We are going to concentrate today on the two player variant, so if you would like to see the full review, check out our previous episode of Miami Dice. Red Planet by Fantasy Flight Games at its heart is an area control game. It has some hidden uh, card selection as well and there's some take that mechanisms with the cards. Um, the goal of the game is to send your astronauts to various parts of the board to control those areas and whoever has control of the areas gains resources which are your victory points. There's other ways to gain victory points such as mission cards and um, discovery cards, but for the most part, it's an area control, resource gaining type of game. Two-player mission Red Planet plays the same as the four-player with a few minor changes, most of them in the setup. In the first place, both players sit next to each other as opposed to across the table in traditional games. Each player chooses a main color and a neutral color. The main color sits in front of the player while the neutral color is diagonal. Only the main color gets a starting mission. Each player creates a neutral deck in a specific way. You take the deck, remove the recruiter, explorer, femme fatale, soldier, and two random cards. Shuffle these and place them face down. Then you place the remaining cards and put them on the top. For gameplay, at the start of the round each player secretly looks at the top of their neutral deck. Each player picks his main color card as normal. The controlling player controls all of the decisions of the neutral player. If the neutral character ever draws a mission or an action card, it is discarded. When scoring, the neutral player's points count separately from the main color. If a neutral player scores the most points at the end of the game, then both players lose. And you might think about playing something else. So what do you think about playing Mission Red Planet? I really enjoyed the two-player um, version of the game. Um, the neutral player adds a whole other level of strategy. You have to not only take into account what your main character is going to be doing that turn, but you also have to utilize the card that your neutral player is going to be playing as well. So you basically have a whole other level to the game that isn't in the multiplayer, where you just focus in on one character. Yeah, it's really close for me. I can't really decide. In fact, maybe I should play it one more time just to decide. Alright, so in summation, I'd say that the multiplayer game edges out the two-player just by a hair because I really like to focus on just playing one character. But other than that, it's great um, playing two-player or multiplayer. So, in summation, thank you so much for joining us. Cool. Yeah.